construction paper and water cell diagrams. You will need markers, glue, double-sided tape and glue dots, colored paper, cardstock, a container for water, watercolors, scissors, a white crayon, and a paintbrush. I have made two eukaryotic cell videos in the past, one on eukaryotic cells and one on plant cells. If you'd like to check them out, please click the annotations on screen right now. To start with the construction paper cells, choose six colors of paper. On four of your colored papers, draw one circle per paper, making sure that the circles get smaller each time. On the fifth colored paper, draw many little circles. On the final colored paper, draw ovals and add squiggles in their centers. Cut out all the shapes. These shapes will then become the organelles within your cell. Write cell membrane on your largest circle. Write cytoplasm on the next size circle. Glue the next two smaller circles together and write nucleus on them. Tape the tiny circles to your cytoplasm and label these ribosomes. Tape the ovals to the cytoplasm and label them mitochondria. Tape the nucleus to the cytoplasm and then the cytoplasm to the cell membrane. Ta-da! Your cell diagram is done! Check out my other videos to learn what each organelle does. Watercolor cells. Gather your cardstock. Print out or draw your own cell diagram. This one's in the description. Trace your cell diagram onto your cardstock using your white crayon. I suggest using a window as a light source to backlight your image. The crayon will only appear in the light. Watercolor paints repel wax, so try painting over the traced cell and see what happens. As you paint, the white lines you drew are revealed. Have fun coloring in your cell. As you paint, you begin to learn more about the cell you're coloring. This is because you reveal different organelles. This is an activity that's especially good with younger kids. Blotting with a tissue will help remove excess paint and reveal your white lines. You can repeat this process with other cells and other diagrams. For example here, I drew a plant cell. Explore using different colors for different organelles, or just have fun and scribble all over the image like we did. I hope you have fun and enjoy these cell diagram activities. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for the next video.